Hey everyone, it's Sarah Richard, the founder of Girls at Scuba. Today's video is brought to you by Mike's Dive Store. Girls at Scuba have collaborated with Mike's Dive Store to show you girls the best first equipment you can buy when you start scuba diving. So this box behind me has just arrived from Mike's. I'm going to unpack it with you and I'm going to show you recommendations when you are looking to buy your first set of gear. First things first is unboxing this baby. It came through the post yesterday and I've been waiting to open it so I can show you girls as well. Let's do some unboxing. All right, I'm ready to unpack this baby, but I just wanted to mention a few things about sustainability which have really impressed me. With Mike's, I actually found out that they're the first dive shop to have all of their power sourced from 100% renewable energy. And by doing that, they have conserved over 20 acres of that Amazon rainforest. Such a great thing, and they're not shouting about that. I had to kind of find that out myself, which is really great. Something that companies should just be doing as standard. So reuse all of their boxes. So I don't know if you can tell, but this box is not a brand new box. This box has been something that's maybe been sent to them by suppliers and they're reusing it and sending it to me. So you can see all of their tape is paper tape and apparently all of the bubble wrap is cardboard bubble wrap. Now I've not opened this box, I'll be opening it with you for the first time so we can see together if what they claim on their website is actually true. One last thing I also found out is they actually donate 1% of all of their profits to Sea Changes which is a coastal conservation charity. So before I've even opened this box, this is the kind of company I'm all about and we're all about in Girls at Scuba. Sustainability, reusing and getting rid of plastic. All right, let's open it up. So now we've opened the box, you had a little sneak peek of what I ordered. What I ordered was what I think that you need when you are first starting out scuba diving. Now, when you are starting your open water course, when you're trying a DSD, the dive centre that you go to will offer you rental gear. However, you may want to buy your own equipment, and this may be at the start of your open water, it might be after your open water, it might be your advance or even your rescue. By the time you get to your dive master course, you want to have your full set of equipment. But bringing it back to open water or advance, there is some key pieces of equipment that you do need. For me, the key pieces of equipment that you are going to want are mask, fins, dive computer, and a wetsuit. Now, we've spoken a lot about female wetsuits, so I'm not actually gonna mention female wetsuits in this video because it would be a whole video in itself. I have actually done a video on female wetsuits, so wetsuit obviously does not fit me. I feel like it makes me look like Superwoman. It's also very, very easy to slip on. If you are looking for a wetsuit, head over to that video which will be linked and also head over to Mike's Dive Store and take a look at some of the female wetsuits they offer. The great thing about their website now is they actually have a shipping calculator. So if you do wonder if they ship to your country or you want to know how much it is, you can add anything you want to the cart then go on to the shipping calculator which will come up automatically and let you know how much shipping is to your area. To the UK, it was free and returns are also free. So this is my order that I wanted to order for this video. Such an easy, smooth website and one of my favorite things is they have this loyalty rewards called plankton points. You get 100 points per pound that you spend, which is amazing. And because I've actually bought from Mike's Dive Store myself before, he <laughs> accumulated some plankton points which I could use as discount for this order. So every time you order, you're getting those plankton points. And as an added extra benefit just for girls at Scuba, Mike's have given you all 5% off your whole cart when you sign up to their account. So as soon as you sign up to an account, you will get an email giving you a code, use that code, you get your plankton points, and you're gonna be saving more than ever. So I have got this mask. It's the Atomic Subfrain mask in medium, and it's for narrow faces, specifically women or children, which is why I picked this to show you. Okay, first up, it's in plastic, right? I've just told you that everything is plastic free. Mike's, well, Mike's as a dive saw actually send everything plastic free but it is actually the manufacturers of each brand who do wrap in plastic. So this is an Atomic mask and it would have actually come direct from Atomic to Mike's and Mike's have then sent it out without unwrapping it just to say that they're plastic free. So they have kept that wrapping on. So that's the reason that there is plastic on some of the pieces of equipment. On the top of my head, I only know Apex and Aqualung who are 
actively striving for complete plastic free packaging and have actually started doing that. I don't know if you guys know of any other brands that have swapped to plastic free, but let's start putting pressure on them so that dive stores and the consumers don't have to end up with the plastic. Having a well-fitted mask is so important when you first start scuba diving. For anyone that's done those mask clearing skills or anyone that has the skills coming up, you will know how important it is that you can see through your mask, that your mask fits, that it's not getting trapped in your hair when you're trying to remove it. So having your own mask is really important, but it doesn't mean that you should rush into buying any mask that you think looks good. <laughs> you should try a mask on, to your face and see how it fits. It's a simple way that you can test to see if a mask will fit you and that's before you even get it wet, before you do anything to the lenses. If you do do anything to the lenses to try and clear it, then the retailer most likely won't take it back. So make sure you do this test before anything. You don't need to even get wet. If you just get your straps of your mask and put them to the front like that, so it's all open here. Make sure there is nothing on your face. Get all of your hair out of your face. If you've got a beard, make sure your beard is tucked in as much as possible. And then get the skirt of the mask and press it firmly onto your face and inhale. As you can see, it has an airtight, meaning watertight fit, just being on my face and inhaling. Masks go through testing before they even arrive to the dive shop and before they arrive to you. However, there's a very slim, slim chance that it could have got damaged in transit. So you wanna make sure the skirt fits you before you've even got it in the water. Perfect. Another great thing about this Atomic mask is it has ultra clear, super white lenses allowing up to 96% of light transmission underwater. Super strong frame, and I think it looks really nice with the teal trim. It also comes in a couple of different colors. It does come with a snorkel. At Mike's Dive Center, it is 89 pounds for the mask. Don't forget your 5% off. On to fins. These are the Mares Avanti Quantro Plus. <laughs> now, uh, if you have been on some dive boats, dive trips, if you have a lot of dive buddies, there is no doubt that you would have seen a couple of these pairs in many different colors of the rainbow all around the world. These Mares Quattro are one of, if not the, best selling pair of fins around. Well, that's what Mara says. And to buy these fins to begin with, you are kind of going into a very good quality fin, but I don't see why you shouldn't buy a very good pair of fins when you're first starting out. Learning the different techniques of kicking and current and everything like that does require you to have a good pair of fins. They've been made lighter with a new technology, which makes no difference to the comfort or the kick of the fin. So they're even better than ever. And at Mike's at the moment, they are actually on sale for 90 £2, which is one of the cheapest places you can find them at the moment. They come in a few different colour and different sizes. They have a bungee strap on them, perfect for boots. I really like the bungee strap. The only thing I would say is they are quite heavy. They're quite clumpy to travel with. So if you are looking for a lighter fin, easier to travel with, I've got one for you. Aqua Lung Storms. Just compare the sizes quickly. So obviously I'm the same size foot, I'm a UK 6, but look at the difference in these two fins. I can't see the weight difference, but the Mares one is a lot heavier than the Aqualung. Aqualung Storm are my go-to travel fins at the moment. They are part of Aqualung's new collection, and these fins are super lightweight, super easy to travel with, but still come with all of the comfort and all of the power. I, last time I used these storm fins were in Socorro Island against some pretty epic current, and I honestly can say that they performed so well. They are pretty new to the market, so there aren't too many reviews out there on them, but we do have a review on Girls at Scuba if you are interested to learn more about the Aqualung Storm. On to my last piece of equipment that I recommend you buy in when you are starting and out scuba diving, it is a dive computer. Now, why is it important to have your own dive computer? Well, as you know, when you are doing your DSD, when you're doing your open water, your instructor will always have a dive computer and you can use hers or his dive computer as part of course. However, I really think it's great to have your own dive computer so you can really track your depth at all times, you're aware of your safety stops and you're aware of decompression. 
A few years ago, it may have been out of your budget to actually own your own dive computer. And I know when I was doing my dive mask, a standard beginner's dive computer was 500 pounds and it wasn't really something I could afford on top of all the other equipment. The great thing about beginner dive computers at the moment is they are such a high standard for such a great price. This Aqualung i200C is just 300 pounds, which is a really great price for a beginner dive computer. When you look at the higher end of the dive computers for divers that are diving regularly, some of the dive computers can go easily over a thousand pounds. So a wristwatch dive computer, which has all of the technology that this i200C does for 300 pounds, is a really great investment into your scuba diving career. So here we go, as you can see, it is a wristwatch style dive computer. So it fits and looks just like a watch. You may have seen some larger, chunkier watches like the Sunto Zoop, which is a very popular beginner's dive computer. Um, especially on women and children, it looks absolutely ginormous on your wrist. I'll show you what it looks like on my wrist. Okay, so that's the i200C on my wrist. As you can see, it's definitely not as small as a watch, but you need to be able to see it underwater, which is why dive computers are never absolutely tiny. But it looks a lot more natural than the big chunky ones. I obviously love the colour. I'm sure you can tell now that teal and glacier and any kind of greeny blue is definitely my colour. But it doesn't really matter what it looks like. It's about how it performs. And the i200C has actually got four operating modes. It's got air, nitrox, gauge, and free diving. So it has everything you need as a beginner and as an advanced scuba diver, especially if you want to start getting into free diving too. It actually connects via Bluetooth to an app, so you can check all of your logged dives on your app and also manage the computer settings on your phone, which is a lot easier than doing it on the watch. And if you're not gonna read the manual properly, you probably won't understand what the buttons mean. So heading over to the app and changing the computer settings on that is a lot easier. One thing that makes mics stand out from the crowd is they offer video consultations. So for example, if you had just got your Aqualung i200C and you weren't too sure about some of the settings, you could actually book a video consultation with one of the staff at Mike's and they will be able to talk it through with you and you'll be able to have one-on-one -on -one advice and help about any of the equipment that you buy. Video consultation is free. It's a 20 minute video consultation. You can actually have more as well if you want to. And you don't even need to buy from them to get this consultation. If you're looking for a BCD, if you're looking for a wetsuit, but you're worried about the fit, if you're looking for a dive computer and you want to know more about the functions, you can actually book this consultation. They can talk it through with you. And you can also book it if you've already ordered, you've got everything and you don't know how something works, book a consultation, talk to the guys at Mike's and they can explain everything for you. So there we go, we've spoken about mask, fins and dive computer. As I said to you, I do recommend you getting your own wetsuit too. But that's a whole video in itself which you, which you can check over on our channel. We are super excited here at Girls at Scuba to be collaborating with Mike's Dive Store to bring you even more of these kinds of videos. If you do have any suggestions on videos you'd like to see on our equipment reviews, then just let us know. And Girls at Scuba, along with Mike's, can bring you even more fun, easy to understand educational scuba dive videos.